So what was really amazing about Ms. Shayla is that her pain after the operation was minimal. And in fact, we talked about potentially letting her go home the same day, which again is unprecedented for this type of surgery, just because she looks so fabulous afterwards. Since probably about the age of four or five, she would complain about side aches, nothing too severe that I would take her in. Last year, she got kicked off the trampoline and she complained of her back and her side hurting. That's when they referred us to urology in Rochester. They discovered that she had an obstruction. This ureteral pelvic junction obstruction, which is a fairly common abnormality in the kidney, is probably one of the highest things we operate on with robotic assistance. We here at Mayo Clinic are one of the few sites in the country that has access to the SP robot. SP stands for single port. Uh, which basically means that instead of having multiple incisions to put multiple instruments through, you have one incision that actually allows multiple instruments to flow into it. Once the instruments are in the body, they can fan out to allow you to work. And then you can actually also just move the camera around to look at different parts of the body. The, the big advantage of this robot is that potentially the amount of damage you're creating in the tissues of the body are less because you're only using one point of entry. All of a sudden I get the text that she's coming back the next week. So she had like surgery and it was like one week later she was back in class and it was amazing. We weren't even sent home with pain medication. She never complained about pain at all. This is real cutting edge technology. And I think that's really going to, for certain cases, translate into better patient outcomes, which are the most important thing.